another episode of Silly Season in Formula One and MotoGP. And I cannot believe it that we're mentioning this name. We're going to be talking about Mazepin. Oh. Mazepin. No. No. I not will okay. not watch it. No. It's not happening. Uh, what is table, happening? If what, this table could flip. Oh, what is happening to this sport? If they choose Mazepin over Duan or Mick Schumacher or just about anybody, like... Uh, money talks. Money, money. Uh, but it's really getting ridiculous. Uh, we have a ridiculous driver in the number one car in the world. We're going to have Mazaspin because his dad has connections with this guy of that guy. Like, come on. This is the pinnacle of motorsport. There's about 20 drivers in F2 that are faster than this guy. Mazaspin? Put Logan Sargent in our pen if you're going to do that. Put like anybody. Uh, so basically, what we're talking about, there are rumors floating around. Uh, Alpine will be partnering up with High Tech GP, which uh, Mazepin's dad has a link to, uh, which obviously means that Mazepin could well and truly end up in that seat uh, because, of course, he is quite wealthy, um, as we saw Haas back in the day. <laughs> I, mean, I don't even want to continue this episode. <laughs> that's, how, that's how sh... Uh, it's, it, 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 it's crazy. It's crazy. It you was know? not on my bingo card, that's for sure. No, 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 no. I thought it was a joke. When you message me, oh, yeah, there might be, yeah. what? And then it's actually, like, this could actually happen. Ugh. And, you know, if we have Lance Stroll in Formula 1 because of his dad, Mazepin because of his dad, um, Perez because of the entire Mexico government and, you the know. British media, which we'll get into, and, by the way. And well. all the other companies yeah. involved behind that guy. It's It's just crazy. But signs he has signed finally it's <laughs> happening he is remaining in f1 because of last week if you joined us last week alex and i actually talked about where he's probably going to go and then literally 24 hours after we found out it happened um so signs is going to williams uh which is a great i am um, great great thing i reckon for the sport well based on the wage who's the number one driver at williams mm. now yeah that's a good question that I'll is a very say, well see signs is more experienced uh than albon but albon's been around but albon has been so around long. exactly right he's been around for so long with williams, with williams. it's mm. uh, i guess we'll have to wait and see how that it's folds, yeah i i wouldn't want to be there <laughs> no james Vow, he knows what he's doing though so i trust him but uh, no fantastic in my opinion it's exactly what william needs yes uh to get an experience a race winner a recent race winner yes uh to join that team multi-year deal as well so we'll see him through absolutely the end absolutely and i think it's you know we we have almost forgotten the glory days of williams being world championship mm. material and i hope you know i hope for signs for albon that this team makes the right steps and becomes championship contenders i mean mclaren have done it with a customer mm. engine it's possible Exactly. And Williams used to be up there with, remember the Martini livery with Massa and Bottas. Even, that wasn't even too long ago. Yeah. Um, ten, well, it was quite a while ago now. Or the Kibitza days, you know? Yeah, like did, Montoya. Yeah. Montoya taking it to Schumacher like, oh, you the know. the BMW days, yeah. Oh. That was, that's a throwback. But, yeah, now they, they're a team that everyone, I reckon, would love to see back up the front. Absolutely. Again. Um, it's a fantastic team, and I'm excited to see the partnership. Uh, Logan Sargent obviously crashed way too many times in the seasons in Formula One. Signs won't do that. Uh, we've seen how good science is behind that Ferrari. Yeah. Smooth, so, exactly. <laughs> yeah. he, he definitely is a smooth operator, and I think Albon, um, you know, they'll match as well. Mm. Um, they both have less uh, organs than anyone else uh, teaming up. Yeah, that's next it. Year Weight reduction. Well. Weight reduction has been solved. Tick. What well, was the first team in Formula One history where they both don't have a pen? Appendix. There you go. That's a that's <laughs> so a record that will stay in the record books. And they both once upon a time raced for uh Toro Rosso or Alpha Tari or V Cub as well. What exactly. about what about the fact that potentially Liberty Media has had something to do with Paris staying because they don't want the Mexico GP numbers to go down? That's as worse as Mazepin. So basically like the, what? Uh, if you joined us last week, we kept we said about uh it was basically the eve of there was the day before it all happened right yes uh we were like perez is gone um no way uh well it turns out that meeting he's staying but now we got some well the rumors are floating around everywhere um but basically what it's saying is apparently according to red bull and uh even the verstappens were told about this that perez was not going to be there comes Zandervoort 
only for them to literally switch that decision wow. with a blink of an eye um, and decide to keep him. That's crazy. Um, and apparently the cards are going to be shuffled again in 25, uh, according to Helmut Marco. And, and, you know, we were so happy because we saw Daniel were talk, was talking and he mm. was jumping up and down. And literally that meeting was only to say, you will stay until the end of 2024. Exactly. Imagine if he gets the Red Bull seed, like, you know, how high he'll jump. So we have Liam Lawson sitting out the entire of 2024, waiting for a seat to open up. Mm. We got Perez, which will, which I'm very happy he will lose the constructors constructors title mm. for Red Bull this year. Uh, we have Daniel Ricciardo. We get to enjoy him for a little bit longer. Mm. Uh, but overall, what seemed like musical chairs was going to move two seats, nothing. It was very anticlimactic. Nothing. Wasn't it? it was extremely anticlimactic. I, I made that video uh, literally the day before uh, on YouTube and. I can't remember if I put it on Spotify or not. Basically saying Perez is gone. Ricardo's gone there. Yeah, no, that didn't happen. No, that didn't, didn't happen it, at all. It didn't, it didn't happen. And, you know, we've got these new rules coming out in 2026. You know, we've got another year of this particular style of, of car. Would have been great to put Liam Lawson in the in, in, you know, in the RB, give him six months, put Ricardo in, in you know, and help Verstappen, you know, get the constructor's title. Mm. Nothing. They're gonna lose the. They they are going to lose the constructors title. They like have lost it. There is no chance that you can keep up with those two drivers at McLaren that are gonna be there or thereabouts every single race. Exactly, and it's just a real shame. It has like a toxic feeling or uneasy yeah. feeling that Liberty Media, the owners of Formula One, can step in and just yeah. change a team's. Yeah, exactly. No, yeah, don't no, because no. basically, no. You ju- you briefly went over it. Basically, Liberty Media actually asked, or apparently, this is all rumors. Right? Rumors. Uh, Liberty Media. It's asked, not financial advice. We're not financial advisors. You cannot hold us accountable for anything we, we say right now. So don't uh, don't add us unless you're supporting us. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> um, yeah, no. So Liberty Media apparently asked Red Bull to reconsider their decision of keeping Perez for the end of the year because, uh, well, the Mexican Grand Prix is coming up. Uh, the revenue they'll lo- they'll lose if Perez isn't there is going to be substantial, of course. But when- that's not my problem. Uh, exactly. And I've got a team to run. Exactly. And when he crashed in Mexico last year, half the spectators left, apparently. Uh, so Liberty Media doesn't want that. Uh, but also, Checo had a documentary that came out on Disney Plus recently as well. Did he? Yeah, he did, apparently. Wow. Um, so that would have been awkward if it got released the same day he got kicked out of Red Bull. Oh, so that would be iconic. It would be iconic. And I don't, that should but, have happened. But this sport, <laughs> this sport, MotoGP, Formula One, these are the, the pinnacles of motorsport racing. It's what every kid that's six years old at a go-kart track at 7 a.m. on a Sunday morning where they could be just sleeping, they wake up and they're like, I want to be world champion. Mm. And then they get to like 10 or 12 and they go to the next categories and their parents are pouring more money into them. I want to be world champion. And then they move to Formula 3. Wow, we're in the world championship. I want to be world champion. They can move to Formula 2 and they were so close to realizing our dream of becoming a Formula 1 world champion. And then a 35-year-old <laughs> with a shit ton of money <laughs> that has no, like he cannot compete with Liam Lawson's pace in the same vehicle, gets to keep that seat and puts on hold all the other Rebel drivers and the Rebel Academy. And everyone now has to wait because this guy has a bucket of cash. So is motorsport uh, a sport now where, you know, at this pinnacle level, do I just have to bring a bucket of cash? I think so. Like if I bring a bucket of cash, can I be now, uh, you know, have enough of super license points? Like, is that it? Look, if Mazepin actually gets signed. No, please. Then, yes. <laughs> please, please. But Please, it, I want to sleep tonight. It really taints. The, I want to sleep tonight. It really taints the sport, though, doesn't it? Where talent doesn't mean anything anymore, as well, or not as much as it used to. Now it's all about whoever has the most money. Yeah, well, where are we going? Like you know, like like the Olympics, the top ten that do the final in the final of the hundred meter sprint is not the guy who has the most amount of money. It's the guy who can run the fastest. Exactly. And that's that's where the sport is is failing, and and the teams are failing mm. because the team morals is. We need cash. You have cash. You don't have cash. Mm. You come. You go home. Instead of looking other ways for them to generate sponsorships to make sure that that mm. guy gets the seat, that guy shouldn't be in the seat. Exactly. And like for example, like we said, Jack Dylan could most likely end up at Alpine. 
if that's a good thing. That thing doesn't happen. Um, he deserves a C as well. Um, like you said, Liam Lawson as well. But Mick Schumacher even. Um, I saw a little quick headline from Toto Wolf saying he was wrongfully treated at Haas. Yeah. Um, and yeah, because of money. Simple, simple thing. Um, it's frustrating. It's just a real shame. It, it, it really puts a dirty taste in your mouth. Uh, that's for sure. But uh, but look, at the moment, so the likely scenario is that the Mazepin will not be taking place. Duan will take that spot, even though apparently Mick Schumacher was faster. Mm. But Mick, potentially, you know, um, you know Duan, uh, um, Duan to Alpine is the most likely scenario at the moment. Mm. Fingers crossed. Um, that'd be cool. Imagine three Aussies. That'd be sick. That'd be, that'd be awesome.